itchy eyes, sniffles, it's no fun. Yes, I'm allergic to linen, and sadly, one of the main reasons people give up on their rabbits is due to allergies. So if this is you, watch this video and learn how to combat your rabbit allergies so you can keep your bunny and live a happy life with them. My first recommendation is to visit an allergist and get allergy tested. Find out if your rabbit is truly the source of your allergies. Often, it can be a combination of other environmental things, such as dust, plants, pollen, smog. I found out I'm only mildly allergic to rabbits, but I'm very allergic to Timothy hay. Your allergist will recommend treatments specific to your needs, many of which are likely to work well. For now, here are some home remedies. If you are currently using Timothy hay, switch to orchard grass. I noticed a huge difference in my breathing immediately. Orchard grass is not as dusty, the strands are thinner, longer, and softer. There aren't as many seed heads either. Transition your rabbit by mixing both Timothy and orchard until eventually you only use the orchard. Brush your rabbit regularly. My allergies worsen when linen is shedding. Use a mask when handling hay or when brushing your rabbit. Gloves can be helpful too. Always wash your hands after petting your rabbit or handling hay. Vacuuming is crucial. I vacuum almost every day. Remove any rugs, pillows, or blankets that easily trap allergens. I replaced mine with a tightly woven jute rug that is easy to clean and vacuum. Use a lint roller on your clothing. To reduce dander, wet your hands and run them through your rabbit's fur. Do not bathe your rabbit. Rabbits should not be bathed. Remember to clean any surfaces that accumulate fur like blankets or pet beds. I use a pet wedge hair remover for this. Other recommendations are don't let your rabbit on your bed, try using an air purifier, change your sheets, and wash your clothes regularly. That's it for now guys. Good luck with everything. Let us know what you want to see next. Bye.